Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. I've got my new mascot here. He's uh, one of my nutcrackers from last year that I didn't put away and now I'm, I'm glad I didn't because, you know, well, you know, he's not really Christmassy and he can really stay out. I have him on top of my wine cooler or wine chiller, or I forgot what you call it. But anyway, I just thought I would bring him out to be my mascot. So anyway, I want to welcome you to my channel. I'm Nancy, and I'm so happy to have you join me. Stop in, spend a few minutes of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you, everyone, from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would hit that little red subscribe button over there. I'd love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And today, we're doing episode number two of my new series that I'm calling, I think I'm just calling it Nancy's Wine Diaries, but I don't know. So I kind of, I, I made this video a couple weeks ago. I haven't put it up yet because yeah, I'm slow. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm slow, yeah. So anyway, but in that video, I kind of wanted to get to know more about the wine terms and what do I like about wine and um, using words from like this glossary that I printed out of what professional wine tasters how they describe the wines and I thought I wanted to know that but after watching a few videos and trying to read this glossary thing it's like you know that's not what I want I just want to know well, I want to taste wine I want to let you know what I like about it what, it, what does it taste like um, what are the flavors where did I get it from can you get it locally do you have to go online to get it is there a nice winery that maybe if when I'm brave I can go in person to a winery by myself or whatever I know they have clubs and things too but yeah I'm not there yet so I just thought maybe that's what I want to do not worry so much about how to describe it in professional terms just kind of describe it in Nancy terms what do I like about it yeah so that way it, it can be more fun instead of stressful because I was all stressed out trying to read this glossary and what does it mean whatever and so I bought myself a few props and and then I remembered oh yeah he's over there on top of my wine cooler that I thought I needed but I really didn't but I'm so glad that I have it now so he he sits there and I got him last Christmas so he's uh, kind of like burgundy purples and some silver he's nice and sparkly He's got this uh, tray here with his bottle of wine and some grapes and a little towel in case he spills. On the other side, he's holding his wine goblet. He's got like a wine keg for a hat right here with a little, a little wine tap and some more grapes. I thought he would make an awesome, awesome mascot. So yeah, we got, we'll have him out here when I do my videos. I got this little cute little Nancy's wine tasting. I think it's on Amazon. They personalized it and it, I, I think it probably shipped within a week. I mean, yeah, it was really fast and not expensive at all. I just thought it was a kind of cute little tin to have here in the background. I got my new wine cork thing because I accidentally filled my other one. So it's this also from Amazon. So wine corks. This should hold a few, right? that here for a little prop as well of course I've got this one the wine it's how classy people get wasted and a little chef here I got from at Walmart years ago so it just I just throw it on it's like a chalkboard you can write whatever you want on it so I put kitchen is closed wine cellar is open alrighty and then I got the two bottles of wine that I tried last week so or whenever I did it in my last video just kind of tell you what my thoughts on them were and then we will get into the new one alrighty so it sounds easy enough right so I hope that you stick around and join me your comments of course are always going to be welcome if you can translate anything that I say or you know different things yeah comments will be helpful because if I do pick up a few you know snazzy terms along the way it'll be really it'll be really fun so anyway first I had this uh, the purple toad wine really nice whoops had this before and this is one of my favorite wines and it's the uh, strawberry jalapeno from purple toad winery and this is just it's a sweet wine it was like I think four out of the six and as soon as you taste it of course you, you, you taste the wine and the grapes and um, strawberry the strawberries are so so sweet and then all of a sudden it's like zing the, uh, the jalapeno get, gets you, but it's not so hot that it's uncomfortable. It's just really mixes well, complements the wine and the strawberry, and it's just a really a nice, nice combination. I probably wouldn't want to, you know, 
come home from work at night and pour a glass of this and just sit on the couch and have a sip here and there. I would want to have it if I'm having appetizers or something like that or, or you know, with a group of friends where you're just kind of sitting around and talk and maybe munching on some cheese and crackers or some scallops wrapped in bacon or steak bites or something, just something like that. But, but that was really, really good and I, I enjoyed that. I know I'm going to buy that again. Purple Toad, I will link them below. Um, they're in Paducah, Kentucky, and just, they do ship, uh, not everywhere, they do have a list of states that they ship to, and I've had really good luck with everything that I've got from them. This other one is Wine Haven, and this is a local winery up in Chisago uh, City in Minnesota. We have, we started going there when we moved to Forest Lake, and uh, we were just out riding one day, and we came across this little winery, and back then it was just a little pole barn, they had just started their business, so 20 three some odd years ago maybe and so we had stopped in and it was just uh, just fun they had wine tastings there and it was small and now they've got this gorgeous gorgeous building they've you know built on a few times and then they just built this gorgeous gorgeous building um they have you know wine tastings there and different events there they have my host weddings there it's just really really a fun place to go so i had the uh, chocolate and zombie wine and I remember when I got this, and of course, you know, I have it delivered to work. And so, you know, the guys had just a little bit, but they were like, well, I'm, I'm in the mood for beer. So Jen and I were drinking this, and we're like, it's, it's really rich. It's good, but it's really rich. Yeah, we're not going to drink too much of it. And then, you know, maybe we'll switch to a Captain's and Coke or something like that. The next thing we knew, we finished this whole bottle. It's rich. It's good. It's addictive. addictive. I mean, once you start sipping it, it's like, yeah, it's that good. But, I mean, you can have this. I mean, I can imagine having this with a really thick steak or prime rib with a nice horseradish sauce on it or, or even cheesecake. Yeah. You can do the strawberry it's dipped in chocolate. I mean, yeah. It's endless what you can have this with. Really, really good. So, it's made with honey and it's got uh, the Marquette grapes in it and it's, uh, it's got a strong red wine in it. Could be maybe like a Merlot or something that's in here. And then, of course, the uh, dark chocolate and it's just... It's not too sweet. It is rich, but it's just, uh, it's, it's great. It's really, really great. Love this. Alrighty, so today I am doing a new wine winery for me, and this place is in East Tennessee. It's called Stonehouse. I did order a glass from them when I got it, and they do ship to a lot of states as well, and, um, I think they've been in business from the 1990s. It's a family-owned business. And again, I had it delivered to work. And at work, we drank the whole bottle. I think there were five of us that each had a glass, so it was really good. The one that we drank at work was the Orange Squeeze. And I was looking, and there's a Stonehouse Winery. And a little bit about them on the back. They're atop the beautiful Cumberland Plateau of East Tennessee. They were started in 1990. And I believe they're in Crossville, Tennessee. And I believe they are one of the official wines at the Grand Old Opry House. And yeah, and I think on, um, I was looking at the different wines that they have. And there's one, um, Aaron, I forgot his last name, but he was a country singer at Kiss This, you know the song? So this one, Kiss This Cherry, is something that's a wine that's named after him, and um, another one, Blue Angel, but they've got a lot of different ones. So I picked up a few. They do have different structures, so, you know, if you get like three, five, six, twelve, whatever bottles, you do get different discount structures. I think if you buy twelve, you get uh, shipping is free. I didn't buy twelve because I just wanted to kind of sample a few, but this was really, really good. I was thinking it might be more like that creamsicle wine that I got from the other wine place that I, I did a couple of weeks ago, but it wasn't quite like this. This was like a really, like a really light, light wine, but crisp. It was just, you know, just perfect, that crispness that you have with white wine sometimes. And as you swallowed it, you got like that zest of the orange. And so it was like pure orange. It wasn't mixed with cream or anything like that. And I was thinking as we were drinking this, because at first you just, oh, it's just like a white wine. And then as you swallowed it, you just kind of, when it started to get into the back of the mouth, that was when that orange flavor just kind of popped out at you. This would be perfect if you're not a mimosa person, but you like, kind of like the idea of that, or orange juice. This would be perfect 
for brunch. It was really, really good. Alrighty, so the one that I picked to open and share with you guys is one of the peach ones because I had that peach wine that um, one of my vendors from Kentucky, Nisak, had brought out for me and that was so, so good. So I wanted to try another one. So this one is called Cumberland Go Gold and again, Stonehouse Winery. So I am excited to try this. I didn't bring my thing because I thought it had a little tab that you pull, which it does, but sitting there a few minutes so it's starting to sweat and already and of course you know I've got the power tools yeah. and I just ordered well like six bottles like six or seven bottles from another company that's been driving me crazy because every time I go on Facebook or something and I'm not on Facebook that that often but I go on Facebook so I can chat um, on the messenger with our, our girls Randy and Sabrina and uh, so this blue wine just always was on that page so today, I said, that's it. I'm ordering it. So it comes from Italy. So I am going to be really excited to share that when it comes. But for now, I get Tennessee. I love this. This is going to be so good. Pop. Alrighty. And that just makes it so easy. Alrighty. And yeah, I'm not the one that's going to let it sit and breathe for 20 minutes. I, I don't have 20 minutes. Like I say, when I'm on a glass of wine, I want a glass of wine. I don't want to sit and watch it breathe. And made myself a little snack tray. I didn't have any grapes this week, but I got some different crackers here. I've got some summer sausage with garlic and some, I'm going to say it wrong, prosecuto or prosecco or something like that. Yeah. And a little bit of cream cheese here that's mixed with, uh, I think there's garlic and some herbs in there. So yeah, a little snack. Alrighty, so here's my wine, and it's a really nice, delicate peach color, it's very see-through, and I've heard different people say that I, I watched because I was trying to figure out this uh, terminology and how people describe things, and you know, they, they call it leg, some people say it doesn't mean anything, it's just the evaporation, and some other people say if you see a lot of legs uh, dripping down when it coats the glass, it's just how fast the alcohol in it is drying. So I can see this one's coating the glass, but I don't really see any any legs or anything like that, just that it's coating the glass. Alrighty, then you're supposed to kind of swirl it. You really need a bigger glass if you kind of swirl or don't pour so much. Alrighty. Mmm, I can taste back here the peach. Or feel the peach. Okay, ready? Pretty color. It's a light color. Let's go. Cheers, everyone. So, I do taste that peachness, the peach. Again, it's like a nice, it's a crisp, crisp wine. And I'm not going to say it's, it's acidy or anything like that. It's just kind of like a crisp, bold flavor, like you've bitten to an apple or something and it's like that crisp flavor. That's what this is like. You can taste the peach right away, but as you swallow it, I mean there must be taste buds back there too that you can just further taste that peach as it goes as you swallow. And you can still kind of feel it like on your, your tongue and on the roof of your mouth that peach kind of lingers. I don't know if that's good or bad. That's just how I feel. But it feels like it it's, would be a nice little summer wine. And it's, and it's well, you know, a fall here. But, and it was only in the 70s, but it rained. And it is still so, yo, so humid out. I had to have the air conditioner on when I came home from work just to kind of dry it up and cool it down. But, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I like this one, too. All right, yeah, so I think I've got a winner here. I would, it's not as good as Mike's was from Maysac, but you know, we're doing a pinch. And I'm gonna need cork, so I can put my orange one in there from the, uh, the orange squeeze. 
um, I don't know if I would buy this. If I was gonna have a brunch or something to myself or whatever, or have some company over for, for breakfast or if the kids come back, then that would be a great one to have um, for breakfast, for brunch. But of course, if they were here, I would wanna go to like Elmo Inn because they have like the best brunch around. If you're ever in Minnesota, Lake Elmo Inn, best brunch, so, so good. So anyway, cheers everyone. I wanna thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. I am so blessed to have you guys in my life. So blessed to have a good glass of wine. And I hope you join me on these and maybe just let me know if you think I should kind of move this and put it on its own station or uh, not a station, like a channel, YouTube channel. Or if you think it's okay just to leave it in and if people want to watch it they can watch it without having to go to another channel so cheers everyone i hope you are having a great day night week or weekend and we'll chat again soon bye bye everyone love you guys bye bye